Hello everyone, and welcome to Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Let's get started. That's a lot of rain. We really do need to buy ourselves a new depth probe. The ping was off by 150 peds to the east. That's not gonna fly. And what about the treasure, Rex? Was it in line with your expectations? It seemed pretty solid. Didn't even have to reinforce it too much. Even with the labor costs, we should be able to turn a decent profit. Honestly, it takes you two days to run the structural analysis. Yet somehow you can gauge the profits in an instant. Don't go raining on my parade, Gramps. You know, I'm in the salvaging trade for the cash. A little business sense goes a long way. All right? Whoa! Well, that's a problem. I didn't expect that. You've been living in this thing, big guy. No worries, Gramps. I think we know what's for lunch. I have no idea what's going on. Okay, she threw up and blah blah blah.
OK, time to take you down. All right. Anchor shot. Ha! Why not? Oh, I missed, apparently. See, Grumps? I'm getting better. An entire horizon of white. A sea of clouds. And at its heart, the world tree piercing the heavens. This... This is the world we call home. All rest. Story goes that when the world was young, Everyone in all rest lived on the tree, together with our divine father, the architect. According to the tales, it was a bountiful land. And the people there held the power to command even the heavens themselves. They called that paradise Elysium. But then, one day, we were cast out. Nobody knows why. Perhaps we angered our creator. Or perhaps it was something else entirely. All we know is we were forced to leave Elysium, to live here in all rest. Where it turns out, life was pretty hard. But when it seemed like we would surely die out, the architect took pity on us, sending his servants, the Titans, to save us. The few of us who survived settled on the Titans. And we've lived in harmony with them ever since. But now those Titans are beginning to die out. does my weary old bones much good. You want me to move it, Gramps? No, that's quite all right. Leave it right there. Uh... Right up. Not another one. Been happening a lot lately. Mm, more so than before. I wonder... if anyone was living there. It seems not. And if there had been, they would have all left by now. Makes sense. Hey, Gramps. Do you think... Fonset Village will be gone too one day. It would not be today or tomorrow, but one day, yes, it will fall. And you too? That's how it goes with us Titans. There's no way around it. Eventually, there'll be nowhere left to live. Sadly. So... You Titans were born up there. Is that right? So they say. For what it's worth. Mind you, I was born here on all rest. 
As for my ancestors, who could say where they were born? Can it really exist? This Elysium? And the Creator? Who said to live there? A land of plenty atop the world tree. If such a place did exist, perhaps we could all live in peace with no need for fighting. Sure would be great for everyone, even folks in Fonset. If the Divine Architect can see us now, I wonder what he thinks. Back to making money. I think this hall should be enough for today. Oi, Gramps! Care for a little swim to the Argentum Trade Guild? You're planning on selling it now? It's getting toward my bedtime. Don't play the lazy old man with me. There's plenty of sunshine left. Kids these days. No respect, I swear. Loading screen, loading screen. If it isn't Rex, how's business? Going all right, else I wouldn't be here. Fair point. So, which one am I unloading? We can leave that until I'm done negotiating. Shouldn't be too long. Well, morning is 15 gold per half day. I'll have your gold after I sell the stuff. All right, later. Hey, hold on. You know I can't do credit. <sighs> Does it every time, too? No one, I'm afraid. Figures. Awesome. This thing's huge, and it's not even a Titan ship. Steal it. Steal it. Okay, good. Thank you. There's that. Okay. Yes, I know. That's a mini map. I know what a mini map is. Thank you. Okay, yeah, thanks. I can do that. Okay, thank you.
It's still more than I give to non-friend. If you bring military supplies, then you get good price. Cease fire between Moor Arday and Uriah, not keep for too much longer, methinks. So weaponry is hot item. Well, what friend think? I'll make it worth your while. I told you before. I stay away from that sort of thing. Oh, it's shame. Rex good salvager. Could be good way to earn pretty penny. Waste of talent, if you ask me. Anywho, where were we? I'll take your offer. Two hundred now, and you know what to do with the rest. Okie okay, doodles. Sending monies to Corin of Fonset Village, is right? Yeah. Is beautiful thing, sending money home at such young age. I touched. Wish my own dumb dumb little pond did same. It's cause Gramps doesn't charge rent. Eh uh hey? All right, I'm counting on you. Roger, pleasure doing business. Okay, so this seems like as good as any place to leave the first episode, so I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. If you want, there's a playlist to the left, a random video to the right, and if you want, you can follow me on Twitter at CGPoorly.